Hello, my YouTube friends. This is Dave Wilson. I uh, want to give you a little update on something I've been working on. Uh, some brass inserts. I had seen some videos on YouTube about how these can replace uh, nuts and bolts, well, nuts, to uh, attach parts together. So I got online and found the best company in the world is uh, Spiral. Anyway, uh, they really don't have a retail market. So I talked to the salesman there, and he sent me some samples to try. And I may end up buying some of these. And if I do, I've got to figure out how to, uh, I guess, dispose of some because I've got to buy such a high quantity. But what I want to do is, here's what they look like. He sent me some uh, heat uh, inserted and some press-on. The press-on, I just don't see working very well with plastic. But here's what I did with the heat inserted. Um, they go in, I just use a soldering iron and just press those right in from the back. They've got a little flange on them, but um, then uh, this is an M4, goes through and it's just like you put a nut on the back of it, except you don't have to worry about mounting it. Um, so I'm going to use that to mount my Hamera, I'm sorry, my <laughs> Omnia drop uh, on the front here. Uh, I've already, uh, and the way I got started with this, I, I printed, a, designed a sample block with different size holes because that, that's part of the critical part. You have to have a, a, a preformed hole to insert the uh, bushing in. Um, so, anyway, I designed this three and four uh, millimeters and different hole sizes. And I found, especially on the four millimeter, 5.5 millimeter hole worked the best. And so I did different uh, inserts, and you can see different squishes, you might say. And here's what the actual inserts look like. And I've used it then on, um, this is the filament mount I had with just nuts, bolts and nuts. And I redesigned it to use the uh, brass inserts. I also have a bolt that goes here just to tighten it and can use an insert also. So I just want to give you an update. I'm getting ready to replace this mount. Uh, what happened, I tried to print some uh, high temperature and since this mount's actually in PLA, it started to melt. So I'm going to redo the whole thing. I'm trying to get so I can print either PETG or uh, ABS to replace these mounts so they're more high temperature. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.